Hi guys, Franz here from Snakes of Namibia. So today we are going to, to be looking at what is arguably the most common snake on the continent, um, and this is the puffeter. Now the puffeter is widely distributed throughout Africa with exceptions to true desert and rainforest. In Namibia, they're widely distributed from the southern parts of the country all the way to the north. Uh, they tend to be absent from the sand seas of the Namib Desert. Now in Namibia we have about six different adder species, five of which are dwarf adders, which means they don't obtain a length greater than 60 centimeters, um, and the puffeter is by far the largest and most dangerous. Now these snakes can grow up to a max length of 1.2 meters. Um, here in, in southern Africa, elsewhere in Africa, in Kenya for example, they can exceed that and they can grow to a max length of about 1.8 meters. Now it is a very easy snake to identify. First and foremost, you look at the head shape. You'll notice that the head is either triangular or diamond shaped. And what you'd also notice is that they have these stunning backward pointing Vs or chevrons, usually with yellow in between. And you'd also notice that the skin of this snake in general is quite rough and reflects as little light as possible. This helps them to blend in. And this is what we refer to as keeled scales or rough scales. Now, puffeters are ambush hunters. They would lie and wait for their prey to come to them. And usually they can lie in one area for up to two weeks waiting for food to pass by. They've evolved a very unique way of attracting their prey called lingual or caudal luring. Lingual referring to the tongue. They, wiggle, they stick it out and wiggle it around. A frog or a rodent sees it, comes closer, and the snake um, then seizes it. They do something similar with the tail, which is caudal luring. They would wiggle it around once again, attracting unsuspecting prey. Now, a recent study that was done on puffeders actually showed that usually when they're in camouflage, they don't always tend to bite. Um, and this study was done at the University of Witz in Johannesburg, South Africa. They took about 40 different individuals and they deliberately stepped on them with a prosthetic uh, foot and leg. And out of those 40 snakes, only one snake reacted. But I always say it's a bit like playing Russian roulette. Uh, not every snake has, a, has the same personality and every snake will react differently. But what we have seen is that if they are in camouflage mode, um, it is highly unlikely that they will strike out. If they're out in the open, that may change. Um, but again, you don't, you don't want to be stepping on puffeters. So in rainy season, it's always best just to avoid areas with long grass and thick bush, because this is usually where your puffeters will hunt. Um, unfortunately, it is a snake with a really bad reputation, but all in all, they're quite timid and would much rather prefer moving away um, than bothering people.